We'll be traveling north and south and north and south at an approximate speed of five miles an hour. The Jeep got cleaned up, looks pretty sharp, ready for Florida. That's the nicest it'll be. I got it detailed and I don't know why because by the time you drive 1200 miles, probably gonna be dirty. I'm sure Sawyer's glad to get rid of me for a while. He's gonna have everything well in hand, so, and it's a good time. We're about out of pigs at site two and his, his site and site one. We're just getting ready for overstocks to go out, but they're not going while I'm gone, so should be a little bit of a vacation for both of us. Stay tuned. I'll try to give you some updates along the way. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of planting. Uh, we're going to be planting our corn on corn ground today. David's heading over with the planter now. I'm getting everything chored and getting that done and out of the way with first before David shows up. And then we're going to fill it up and we'll get started. Dad's in Florida today. He's going to be enjoying his enjoying his uh, vacation and his time off. He picked the right time to go away to Florida, didn't he? Leave me here to do all the work uh, during plant season and leave Dave and, here, Dave and I here to defend for ourselves. But it's all right. We'll handle it. Hope he's, hope he's enjoying his time and sipping on a Mai Tai. But uh, yeah, Dad's going to be gone for a few days. He's, he's down there at a Jeep rally checking out all the cool Jeeps. And I'm just here... Uh, fending for myself, trying to get everything done and not break anything, so. I'd like to thank you for choosing Tall Corn Acres Custom Planting, Harvesting, and Poop Spreading. We'll be traveling north and south and north and south at an approximate speed of five miles an hour as we slowly work our way from the east to the west over the next time frame of about 12 and a half or so hours. As always, thank you for choosing Tall Corn Acres. So the last time we were here, it was Thursday and we knew the cold was coming but uh, didn't really expect it to be as cold for as long as it was. I uh, finished up their corn on soybeans there on a Thursday and here we are two Thursdays later finally back at it. Soil conditions and temperatures are pretty much the same as they were when we started. They're a little cold and a little damp but we got a decent window here where Temperatures are going to be up, air temperature is going to be up, so um, we're right about 54 degrees right now. We got today and tomorrow, the soil should warm up nicely as the seed takes in that initial moisture and gets started sprouting. So, anyway, that's kind of what happened the last two weeks. I don't know what you've been up to, but that's what we've been doing. <laughs> somewhere in Kentucky and I just want we had to stop so I figured I'd uh, give you a shout out Jay we made it to the Bucky's it's a monster I got another bag of the best uh, the best snack ever so we're fully stocked thanks for the turn on for that on we go Well, we made it. We made it to Louisville. And like a genius, I came to Louisville on a Sunday. So every distillery is closed. I guess we'll just have to stop on the way back and hit a few sites. Jeep did well. Rest easy, my friend, rest easy. All right, I've decided to do a little PM. P stands for pre, M stands for vanity maintenance. So this little hose right here, is hanging down and the stocks are hitting it. See on there where the stocks have hit it already. So I'm gonna 
take the farmer's new bailing wire, zip ties, and I'm gonna tie that up so it don't get ripped off. Because when it gets ripped off, then we have maintenance. It's no longer preventative then. That means shit's broke. Got it tied up right there. And I think it's gonna clear the pump. That's a John Blue pump. It's got the little number settings on it. It seems like it's running more out today than it was when I was doing my own stuff, but I didn't touch it, so maybe I got weaker sauce today. The drive wheel right there comes off the main planter wheel, goes through all these chains, and comes up here and drives this. And it sucks the liquid out of the tank. here to the red ball it's loud here my vacuum this is what holds all the seed on my meters but anyway this is the red ball system you see the balls down here when I get going they all come up and that tells me it makes me lets me know I got flow so before I left last time Torque told me that uh, he might be gone when I come back he's uh, a Jeep guy now I ended up deciding to buy uh, Gladiator decided to go down to Florida for some kind of a Jeep rally and uh, I would imagine he's probably driving the beaches of Daytona and uh, probably doing some mud running back in the Ever Everglades um, yeah here we are putting in work I've worked up quite an appetite this morning doing nothing and Torque's on vacation well you can't beat that I'm sure he's having a good time, and we really hope that he is having a good time. Because this is, this is brutal work here. I'm really struggling. If any of you kids are interested in having a, I don't know, say a little gathering, that house right there is currently unoccupied. I would imagine you can have yourself a pretty good time. Just come on down. Bring the your sodas and your lemonades and uh, Kool-Aids and just have a good old time. There's a few Jeeps here. I don't know. I don't have any idea where we're going. I guess I'll let you know when we get there. Supposedly there's supposed to be over 20,000 Jeeps here so it sure looks like that they're probably right on that because we already passed a bunch but we're finally here out of mu after much much waiting in line. Saturday morning and in typical torque fashion I couldn't sleep so I got up early and uh, I was waiting at the gate this morning when the beach patrol opened it up I got I got the spot that I wanted so there's the hard rock that's where we're staying so uh, pretty good spot not many people down here yet this morning it's a perfect morning sun's coming up there's quite a few Jeeps on that side. Today's probably going to be the last day that we're going to spend at the beach. Tomorrow we're going to start meandering our way back, I think. It's a tourist trap, but that view, you can sell a lot of uh, t-shirts just with that view right there. So, pretty neat. Well, there 
here it is. We got it done. 134 acres. It's currently 10 o'clock. Uh, pretty good day. So corn 2023 is in the ground, and all we can do now is uh, sit back and hope for good weather and see what we get in the fall. Now that we're done planting, I'll show you all the dicking around I got to do to get this thing into road mode. Check this out. fun guys we'll see you when it comes to beans bye 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 daytona beach